<laughs> All right, New Zealand doctors. Hopefully these guys get enough thanks each day are prescribing more and more of the most addictive types of painkillers in record numbers. You might not know what an opioid is, but you'll know these names because many of us have them in our medicine cabinet. They're a go-to for the worst kind of pain. And across the country, opioid prescriptions are up. An increase of 20% between 2011 and 2016, nearly 1.9 million last year alone. Codeine prescriptions were up almost 30% over the five-year period, tramadol more than 60, while scripts for the powerful fentanyl tripled. But there's been a drop in use of oxycodone after Pharmac and our DHBs flagged concerns with how readily it was being prescribed and how easy it is to become addicted. Getting hooked on painkillers is an expensive habit. 44% of Americans know someone who has been addicted to prescription painkillers. Drug overdoses are the leading killer of people under 50 in the States, killing more Americans than gun deaths or HIV in recent times. And it's largely opiates to blame. Oxycodone is known simply as Oxy on the streets and has become a gateway to cheaper versions like heroin. In New Zealand, the opiates on the rise have similar properties, even when they go by different names. Pharmax says the increase of roughly 3 to 4 per cent each year is because of our growing and ageing population. But these are serious drugs that can form deadly habits. Could America's addiction happen here? Yeah, it's a worry. Let's ask. Sue Payton is Director of the Drug and Alcohol Practitioners Association, Aotearoa New Zealand. Sue, do you agree with Pharmac? It's just population growth. There's nothing to see here. I think saying it's population growth is probably a little bit of a stretch. I mean, particularly when you see something like over a five-year period, a 213% increase in the prescri um, prescribing of fentanyl. I think population growth does not explain that. So what's going on? Are doctors prescribing it too easily or are Kiwis pushing harder for prescription drugs? I think there probably are some Kiwis that are pushing doctors quite hard and I think that doctors feel a bit like they're between a rock and a hard place. If they don't prescribe, they will go and um, access the drugs from the street and that will actually increase risk for their patients. And also doctors aren't able in New Zealand to prescribe opiate substitution, so that's, that's another factor. So do we have evidence that New Zealanders are abusing their painkillers? The um, Drug Foundation recently did a survey of university age students and they found that about 30% of those students used opiates recreationally. In most jurisdictions there's about 1% of the population that has an addiction with, to opiates. Um, there's no reason to believe that New Zealand's any different. And if that's true, that's a lot of people, that's 50,000 people. Uh, is this a good argument for easier access to less harmful pain relief? like? Marijuana, just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it, it, it actually is a good argument for mm. um, cannabis. Um, we know cannabinols are very effective in pain management and they don't have the same connotations around addiction. We definitely don't want to end up in the same place America is. Uh, how do we avoid repeating their mistakes? Anything that you would like to see changed? I would really like to see um, prescribers, doctors, pain special GPs be able to prescribe opiate substitution. Not everybody's going to need opiate substitution. When people are prescribed, it's usually uh, methadone or suboxone. That would actually make a really big difference. Well, Sue, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Today, to hear just how bad things have gotten in the States, the fact that it's the leading, leading cause of death mm. for over 50 year olds. And one reason that we were talking about in the office today that could be is because of the insane amount of advertising that uh, Americans are seeing on TV. You know, ask your doctor, ask your doctor, yeah. ask your doctor. And, and people are going in and asking for these really dangerous drugs by name. And we've still got that potential here in New Zealand. Like, there are n almost no countries in the world. But you can do it here in New Zealand where a celebrity can go onto uh, the TV and an ad and say, hey, next time you're at a pharmacist, give this a go. It's really good. Mm. Only New Zealand and America, you can do that. So although the problem isn't as bad here yet, there is a bit of that potential.